Hello boys and girls. I'm really excited to do this fun Valentine's Day project with all of you. Um, we are actually going to be doing a two part. You could do it in one day or you can do it like part this week, part next week. But the uh, monster in the front is based off a story, love monster that you're going to listen to today. And the background is um, inspired by an artist named Jay Goldcrown. So um, this lesson actually was created by two other art teachers. So I am borrowing their lesson to share with you guys, um, Art with Mrs. E, um, and then Cassie Stevens, both from Instagram. Cassie had created the uh, J Gold Crown background, and um, Art with Mrs. E got the monster idea, I believe, from Painted Paper Art, I think, on Instagram. And she took the two and combined them into one lesson. So we get to hear a story for Love Monster and then learn about a new artist with the background. So let's so get let ready. me introduce you to Jay Goldcrown. He is, that's a picture of him right there. He's a self-taught artist, photographer, living in Los Angeles, California. But he's actually born in London, England. He's uh, also known as a little bit of a street artist because he does these murals of these bleeding hearts all over New York City. And we talked about a muralist last week as well. Jay Goldcrown became very famous for these bleeding heart murals. When he put them in the streets in New York City and famous Instagrammers that were into fashion started posing in front of these beautiful pieces of art and um, sharing them with the world. And these are Instagrammers that had like 500,000 followers, which in turn made it even more famous. These hearts were actually not intentional on Jay Goldcrown's part. He was testing out the pressure of his spray paint cans in his studio on the back of the studio door. And he eventually just had all these hearts all over the whole entire door. So one day one of his clients came to pick up one of their pieces that he had painted for them and they noticed the back of the door with all the hearts. They immediately fell in love with it and also bought the door. Took it right out of his studio. Isn't that crazy? So Jay had an upcoming art show and he decided to make two pieces of the bleeding hearts to bring with him. And they sold immediately. Ended up being a completely sold out show because people were ordering the bleeding hearts like crazy. So. As you can say, the rest is history from that point on. Okay, so to start the first part of the project, um, you're going to need some paper and some chalk. Now, um, you can use drawing chalk if you have it, but if you don't, sidewalk chalk will work, um, chalk for a chalkboard, any kind of chalk you might have laying around. Now, if you don't have black paper, which I like to do my best on the black paper, um, you could use white paper, and if you don't have chalk, just use crayons, markers, whatever you have. Um, I'm going to show you a special technique with the chalk, though. So this part is pretty simple. You could have your background being vertical, up and down, or horizontal, side to side. It's totally up to you. I think I'm going to do mine vertically because um, of what I'm going to add onto the paper. So I'm just going to start taking chalk colors, and what I do is I just start by drawing a heart. Now, if you're not sure how, you can just do like a little, um, kind of like a candy cane shape, a curved line, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Just start here and all the way around like that. Now, if you're using the chalk, the cool thing to make it kind of look like spray paint, like James Gold, Gold Crown would use, you take your finger and you just go around your heart like that. It kind of gives it that spray paint kind of look. Now you're not smudging it like this. You're going right around following that heart. Now I'm going to draw a bunch of these. I like to make them kind of skinny like his hearts. I'm going to do start with just this color first. No, other colors. Now the softer the chalk, the better it smudges and looks more like spray paint. So you're just going to continue with many different colors overlapping and layering your hearts all over the paper until you've filled it completely. And then once you have enough hearts in that background, you can set this aside to work on the next step of the project. And you're going to come back to this. 
Now, to prepare for the next part of the project, the monster is based off of a story called The Love Monster. So I'm going to play a video that reads the story to you. Love Monster, written and illustrated by Rachel Bright, read by Miss St. Germain. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things. Official pile of extreme cuteness, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that Everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a big googly-eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside. And outside. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But, as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then... It didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. Okay, so for this part, to make our love monster, we need a few things. Um, if you have some colored construction paper, we want to do like a red, maybe a white or a pink, something very um, Valentine's Day-ish looking, but honestly, you could really do any color you want to, purple, blue, whatever. Um, I wanted to do a pink. I needed another piece of construction paper to make a heart for uh, my love monster, and then some white for the eyes and the teeth, because I'm going to make those separate, like collage, like where I glue them on. So first, we're going to start with also a little bit of black temper paint and a piece of cardboard, okay? So we're going to dip it into the black temper paint like this. This is going to be a really fun way to do this love monster. And we're going to start by doing a little curved line at the top. Just kind of this, or you can even drag it to make the top of the head on our love monster. And then we're going to create our ears by putting that cardboard a diagonal and then another diagonal. And I'm going to keep dipping the paint whenever I need it. Diagonal here and diagonal there for the top ears. Now I'm gonna go down and just kind of move it down to make it give it that furry look for my love monster. I'm gonna do this all the way off the page. And then on the other side too. And then I'm going to add more texture to the body, just down below a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of more of a furry texture. Okay. And just 
just use that. You can, you know, dab it or you can pull it down to give it a little more. Now, you're going to probably, you might want to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to move on though and show you the next step, but you can pause the video at any point. I'm going to take my white paper and make some eyeballs and some teeth. So I like to start with the white, or excuse me, with a pencil first and draw the eyes. And you can make them however you want. I'm just gonna make two circles. Whoop. I'm gonna make my eyeballs kind of facing in different directions. And then I'm just gonna make some triangles for the eyeball, color it in. You can use a black marker, a black crayon, whatever you have handy. I'll trace this one tooth, okay? now. Actually, I'm gonna make two teeth like this. I'll just draw two teeth. So now I'm gonna cut those out. Move those off to the side. So now I'm gonna bring my love monster back. And first, I'm gonna take my marker and draw the nice big smile. I like a smile, and you can do the face however you want. Now I'm taking some glue. I'm using a little bit of Elmer's, but I put it on with a brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of one eye, glue that down, and then in the back of the other eye, and glue that down, give it a little crazy face. And then I'm gonna glue the teeth on the pointy part of the triangle up, facing up, like that. And this side facing up here. So you're gonna to wanna to set that off to the side to dry now. Now, as it's starting to dry, I'm going to make the little heart that goes on the like, chest of the love monster. So I'm just going to take a piece of red construction paper, or you could certainly color a piece of paper and cut it out separate or color right onto your paper. And I'm just going to make a heart. Now, I draw the half, and then I draw the other side. Now, if you're having a hard time drawing a heart, it might be easier to do an M with a V under it. So whatever is easier for you. And then you're going to cut that heart out and glue it right onto your lip monster. Put a little bit of glue on the back. And I'm going to put that right on the chest of the love monster. Okay, and now I can start to cut out the monster to put onto my background of my James Gold crown art. And it doesn't look perfect. I'm just kind of going around those black lines. Make a smaller love monster to fit on my other paper a little bit better. There's my. Now I'm going to grab my background that I did of the J, uh, gold crown art and I'm going to glue my love monster right on there. Like, how cute is that going to be? Nice Valentine's Day project. So I flip it over to the back. I put my glue, I like to put the glue around the edges and here on the monster. Stick it right to my background and then give it a little pat down to make sure it all sticks. I mean, give it a little massage too. Just make sure that your paint is dry before you do that. <laughs> And there you have it, a adorable little love monster on a J Gold Crown inspired background. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time, guys.